No, no, no. No, don't waste your breath. I gotta Let's go. say this. Look, uh, whatever you did, Dorian, to get the mayor to resign, you've got to realize that that practically guarantees a win for Vicky. I mean, I, I don't expect you to be happy for her, but you've got to face facts. She is going to be Landview's next mayor. I don't think so. She's running unopposed. No, she isn't. Okay, Dorian. Who is running against me? I am. Beth, wait, well, hold on a second. I don't think I heard you correctly. Ford has recast me with who? Oh, that's impossible. What? Well, then you've got to find me another job. I'm completely out of cash. I'll do anything. I... Infomercials. Emergency broadcast announcements. I'd even... Look, I would be perfect for... Daytime extra work. You just gotta get me out of land view. Wait, hold on a second. We interrupt this Beth, program for a back. special report. Mayor Stanley Lowell's recently appointed campaign manager, Dr. Dorian Lord, is issuing a statement. What are you up to now, Dorian? And how do I make it work for me? Your mother's on the news, so is Dorian. <laughs> history of serving my community, not just as a medical doctor, but as chief of staff of Landview Hospital, as a journalist. Taking public office is just a natural extension of my civic spirit. Now, if you follow me, I'll be happy to take your question. Dorian, you haven't taken anything yet. Oh, but I will. I hope you didn't think this election was a fait accompli, because you are in for the fight of your life. What qualifications do you have to be mayor of Landview? I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> I have been a medical doctor. I have served as chairman of the board of Landview Hospital. But importantly, mm -hmm. I was U.S. ambassador to a key and strategic European country. Okay, Do this you thing see is your turning late entry into the race is a liability? No, no, no. No, no. no if Mandora is a key and strategic country, I can't advantage. wait to hear what else she has to say. <laughs> no, oh. Admittedly, it's going to surprise and make a lot of people nervous. But those are people who want to maintain the status quo, which is entirely why I am running, because I want to offer the citizens of land view a real chance for change change dorian excuse me two minutes ago you were campaign manager for the incumbent a crook a man who has just been accused of trafficking in drugs and ordering executions can we really trust the judgment of this woman who aligned herself with that man Well, Vicky and Charlie have their work cut out for them. Do you really think anyone is going to take Dorian seriously? This is so obviously another one of her vanity projects. Now, Mom is going to wipe the floor with her. A few months. You may hear a lot of charges leveled at me. A lot of mudslinging going on. But I can take it. You know why? Because I know it's just politics. Politics as usual. <laughs> And nothing can change that. But I will tell you something else that will not change. If you give me, Dorian Lord, your vote as mayor of Landview, I promise you I will never betray your trust. And I will always uphold your faith in the principles of American democracy. Thank you for listening. I wonder how long she's been practicing that. I don't know. We're going to have to come back at her with both barrels. No, no, no. We're going to run a nice, clean campaign. Believe me, Dorian will dig her own grave. All we have to do is step back, watch her fall into it. Oh, I wouldn't count on that, Vicky. <laughs> it's obvious you're terrorized at the idea of losing to me. Hardly, Dorian. If anyone should be afraid, it should be you. Of what? You? No. Of all the scandals, the embarrassments, and the dirty little secrets that are going to come tumbling out now that you have thrust yourself into the public eye. I have no idea to what you are referring. The cameras! Did I miss the cameras? 
tell me I didn't miss. Thank you, please. Damn it. I rest my case. I ran three red lights to get myself down here. How could I possibly have missed the camera? Shut up! About the cameras, will you? Don't you have a camera crew following you around? What happened to them? Who? Oh, I had to let them go. Dorian, I have realized something. That you're a raving narcissist? Reality television is on its way out. And my appeal leans towards a more refined, sophisticated, discerning audience. You have a seat, fans. David, was your show canceled? The show has nothing to do with it, Vicky. I am moving on to more meaningful projects. When I saw the two of you on television, it was clear. This is where I'm needed. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled that you're here. Really? You are? Yes. I could use a man like you on my staff. Staff? <laughs> wow, well, that's what she said. I, I wasn't thinking job so much as paid celebrity endorsement. No, 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 David. This is right up your alley. I need somebody to do opponent research. Who better than Dorian's ex-husband, huh? to join your campaign? Yes, I think you would be an excellent addition to our team. Charlie, you'd be okay with this knowing how Vicky feels about me? To have someone with your um, television expertise, I think it would be worth the risk. You're right. I'm a tremendously valuable asset. David, how can you possibly consider working for her? You don't even know what her politics are. I don't care about politics, Dorian. What I do care about... Perks. I would offer you free room and board. You had me at free. <laughs> How can you do this to me? David. Me. Me of all people. Come on, seriously? What else am I supposed to do? Are you all aware that my own father won't even speak to me because I blew all of my money on my brother's legal bills? You'd think having a little brother with a disability would get me some sympathy, but apparently not. David, what about all the people that you were going to help with your reality show? Oh, enough! They recast me on my own show about me. Bev can't even get me a job at a bar mitzvah. Look, I need work. Vicky's offering me a job. I don't hear any other offers. Join my campaign. I offer you the job of my campaign manager. Vicky can't match that. Unless she wants to fire her dear Charlie. Charlie is not going anywhere. I should probably call my agent and have her cut this deal for me. To hell with Bev. I'll keep her 25%. You actually think Vicky is going to pay you? Vicky? No, David, I'm sorry, but everyone who works on my campaign is a volunteer. My campaign is willing to pay top dollar for top talent. But on my staff, there would be incredible room for growth. Not if she loses. The only growth you'll see will be calluses on your hands from stuffing envelopes. Think about that, David. Calluses on your beautiful hands. I'm afraid that's all I can offer you, David. So now it's up to you. Whose change do you believe in? Mine or Dorian's? Vicky. Yes, David. Dorian. Yes, David. I've made my decision. Vicky. I'm sorry, I wish there was some other way. It's all right, David, you don't have to explain. You're my very best friend in the entire world. I hope you know that, my very best friend. She knows, she knows. David. Please, don't say it. I know you feel the same exact way about me. I just need the cash. I understand. If there was one person in this entire world that I would do... 
Duty calls. Let's talk salary. I didn't realize you were so fired up about getting Vickers on our team. Well, it's too bad he won't be around. He'd have been a lot of fun. But it is better this way. You see, David and Dorian, in no time at all, will be at each other's throats. Yeah, and off our backs. You cannot have a private jet. This is a local election. You don't know that. As I said, in no time at all. You know, Mrs. Banks, you just may be slick enough to be mayor of these here parts. <laughs>